Shalom, I your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millens. Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakodash, that there is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, the Rekakodash is the Holy Spirit. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, the true leaders of Israel today. And Shalom unto you hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. And as you can see here, I got pulled up an article, you know, and this information, uh, I looked it up at the message from the uh, the priest of the camp, you know, the priest Iron Wa. You know, he gave us the update and I looked it up in this article. It says, live updates, death toll in Turkey and Syria from earthquake passes 20,000. OK, so the Lord took 20,000 people, you know, out of the earth, you know, within the last three days. OK, and it reads the number of dead in Turkey rose to 17,674, making it the deadliest quake in that country since 1939. OK, so the Lord has been judging this place, been judging the world, you know, heavily. OK. And this right here is the one of the, the latest major judgments that the Lord sent here on the earth, you know, to give us an indicator, you know, of the signs of the times and also to give us an indicator of the visitation of the Lord, you know, the before the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. But, you know, upon further research we can go into the scriptures, you know, these things that the Lord send is for you know, men to get in order, you know, specifically Israel, okay? But let's read it, Second Ezra 16 and 9. It says, Behold, famine, you know, that's the lack of food and water, okay? And the Lord is going to take a lot of people out by way of famine, okay? It says, And plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, all right? So these things that the Lord sent on the earth by way of famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish, you know, are sent as scourges, you know. And one thing we know about a scourge, we can look it up. I got it here. You know, it says a whip used as an instrument of punishment, you know. So just to give an example, you know, back during the transatlantic slave trade, you know, if you had a rebellious slave, okay, you know, the slave master would whip the slave, in order for the to get the slave to act right, to get in order, to correct him, all right. And uh, you know the Lord is sending, uh, you know, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish for the correction, you know, of, of men. Okay. And I actually got the uh, Second Edges sixteen and nineteen in the Revised Standard Version. You know, just to get some uh, further clarification. It says, "Behold, famine and plague." Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for correction of men, all right? And it's mainly for the correction of the nation of Israel, all right? Because that's who the Lord wants to repent, you know? The Lord wants the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent and to turn back to him, okay? But we know that the two-thirds, they want to continue on in their wicked ways, you know, falling after the ways of Esau, Edom, the wicked, the devil, all right? But uh, definition for that word plague, it says, cause continual trouble or distress to, all right? So we know that the Lord is going to continue to bring the famines, the plague, the tribulation, and the anguish, you know, for the correction of men, all right? But really for the correction of Israel. But the uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they won't turn back, okay? They want to continue in their wickedness. But as for, you know, the sincere uh, Akin Wak Waf, sincere brothers and sisters, you know, this is the spirit that we should be in, okay? You know, Ephesians 5 and 15, let's read it. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, all right? And then to walk circumspectly, you know, circum. You know, it goes into the root word circuit, meaning a circle, okay? And speckly, you know, the root word is to speck, you know, spectate, meaning to look. So meaning to, to uh, look around, basically, all right? 
you know, and through the spirit, we're supposed to be walking circumspectly. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, you know, not as fools, but as wise. And let's see why. It says, redeeming the time. Okay, what does it mean to redeem the time? It means to buy back the time, okay? Or to make to make good use of one's time, okay? Because the days are evil. We're living in some evil times. The Lord is judging, all right? You know, the Lord is bringing great judgment in the earth, and it's only going to get worse, okay? You know, you can, you can look at, at the uh, different news articles. You got the spirits created for vengeance. You know, there, there's a lot of judgment going forth out here in the planet earth all right you know the latest the latest uh news article i saw was uh i believe a 17 year old you know got shot at the drive through you know of a fast food restaurant you know so the, yeah we should be redeeming the times because the days are evil man we're living in some bad times and it's only gonna get worse all right so how do we redeem the times? First and foremost, we need to examine ourselves, okay? 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it says, examine yourselves. So we got, we got to uh, check ourselves on a day-to-day basis, you know, to see what we're doing and what we're not doing, okay? It says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Hamashiach, Yahweh Hamashiach is in you, you know, and Yahweh is in us, you know, by way of the Rekakodash, the Comforter, okay? And it says, except ye be reprobate. And that's one thing we don't want to be. We don't want to be reprobate, okay? Like the two thirds out here, man. Because they're, they're, they're not uh, acknowledging Yahweh Yahweh you know? So, um,. Let's go to the definition of that word reprobate. Everybody doesn't know what that means. Uh, in 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter in the 5th verse. Strong's G96. Adakimas. Adakimas. Okay. And uh, some definitions, it says, a castaway. Rejected. All right. Not standing the test. Not approved, okay? And that is a scary, scary thing, all right? So we got to constantly examine ourselves, whether we be in the faith, all right? You know, and know that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in us, you know, except we be reprobate. We be, we be um, castaways, man. And we definitely don't want to be that, all right? That, that, is, that is a scary thing. And that's, that's why... Um, you know, King David, let's let's actually go to it. And we should pray this prayer as well. You know, because none, none of us has a, a for sure ticket, you know, on a chariot. Okay. Psalms 51 and 10, it says, create in me a clean heart. And your heart is going into your mind. Lob. Okay. Create in me a clean heart. Oh, Yahweh. And renew a right spirit within me. Okay. And the reason we pray these prayers. Is create, in, create in me a clean heart. Because the mind. You know is desperately wicked. You know going back into the book of Jeremiah. Okay. So we need to rely on the Lord. You know. Okay. To renew a right spirit within us. You know. And it says. Cast me. Uh, verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy rakakodash from me. All right. So that's all a part of examining ourselves, man. Because we don't want to be a reprobate. We don't want to be a castaway, rejected, not not standing the test. You know, not approved. All right. We want we want to uh, receive the salvation that is to come. Okay. All right. So after examination. You know, we got to put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High. You know, we got to walk in this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Shai and apply it. Okay? So, Colossians 3 and 12, it says, put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High. Holy. All right, that means to be set apart. We're separate. Okay? 
We're not like the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. We're not like the rest of the world. It says, And beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness. All right? And one thing in this truth, man, you'll meet the most kindest, all right, the most humbleness of mind, and meek brothers ever on the place on, on, on the face of the earth, okay? And sisters. And it says long suffering, which goes into patience. We're all patiently waiting on Yahweh by Shim Yahushai. We're all waiting on the, the return of Yahweh Shai, okay? When the when the when the Heavenly Father gives him the green light. Okay? And that that's that's even written that uh, that no man knows the day nor the hour, okay? Not even the angels. Okay, not even Yahweh Shai himself, but the Father, man. Okay. So we gotta be uh exercising these these attributes of the elect. That's how we put on therefore, you know, as the elect of the most high. You know. Now let's get to this. You know, I'll 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 end it with this. I don't know what that is. It says Second Peters one and ten. Wherefore rather, brethren, okay, you know, your brethren is an Israelite. No other nations, you know, no other uh nations being the heathen, okay, can 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 uh understand this truth, okay? You know, only the nation of Israel, and we do have uh Israelites, you know, of the heathen nations, you know, that look like the heathen nations, but they are Israelites, they're Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, okay? But one thing we know according to the scriptures you know, is that they can receive this truth because they are Israelites. Um, let's go to um, Romans 8 and 16. It says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So yeah, you, you can have Israelite foreigners, Israelites that look like heathen nations, but they bear the Rakakodash, okay? They can understand this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, because they are Israelites. You know, it's based off the seed of your fathers. You know, you have, you know, some Jakes that went over into these heathen nation, uh, these countries, you know, and laid with their women, and bear children. Okay, Blake Griffin's children is a, is a great example. Drake, his child is a great example, and um. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, you know, look look like straight up uh, Edomites, all right, or close to, but they are Israelites according to the seed of their father. But getting back into this, Second Peter's one and ten. Uh, wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence, all right. That, that's going into redeeming the times. You know, examining yourself. You know, studying the shoe that self approve. Actually, we'll get that after this. You know. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, within this chapter, you know, it gives you more attributes of the elect, you know? Uh, verse 7, it says, actually here it says, And to godliness, brotherly kindness, okay? And, and to brotherly kindness, charity, all right? So there's more attributes to the elect, you know, and the elect will be putting on these things, you know, going into redeeming the time, all right? But since I quoted it, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get it in uh, the book of 2 Timothy 2 and 15, and I'll end it with that. 2 Timothy 2 and 15, it says study, okay? To study, you got to apply yourselves in these scriptures, you know, it's not enough to just, you know, watch these videos, you know, without writing them down. OK, you got to you got to write these things down and you got to go go back over your notes and uh, with with going back over your notes and, and examining yourselves and giving diligence. You got to apply these things. You got to apply these scriptures. You know, it says study to shrew thyself approve unto the most high, you know. It says, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. We don't want to be ashamed, okay? You know, we don't want to be a reprobate. We don't want to be a castaway. 
okay? We don't want to be rejected. We want to pass the last test, which is the, the, the hour of temptation, okay? And it reads, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you got to break this truth down, you know, this word of Yahweh Shemiah Shai down correctly. You know, we got to keep this thing pure, okay? And uh, just to quote the Apostle Gabar, we're stewards, you know? We're, we're holding on to this truth of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, and it's not ours, all right? So we gotta handle this thing carefully, and we gotta we gotta uh, break this thing down correctly. All right. So that's pretty much all I got. You know, I'm gonna read it again. Second Ezra 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges. You know, for the correction of men. Okay. So these right here are are, are um, tokens. You know that the Lord wants. You know, uh, men to be corrected here on the earth. He's not. He's not with the wickedness of man here on the earth, but mainly for Israel. You know, for us to get in order before the great judgment, the day of the Lord comes. All right. So I pray and hope this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. Mm. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, of great millstone, and shalom to the elect. Shalom.